scared of. And he just has to put it right. And that was what he basically was saying. You know, the guy's guarding you, he's not going to want to guard you. And just make him put it right, like, yeah, you're not going to want to guard me. And that's what he came out of did, got the ball behind him. And he was just a physical specimen. And he used his body to his advantage. How satisfying is it when you, you have to get something from just about everybody? Who played tonight to, to win a, a tight game like this? Um, it's very satisfying. And, you know, uh, this is one of the games that when you win, you can just you know uh, relax after the game and just know we all gave it our best effort. So you know, paid off. For it. Hey Archie, late late in the overtime, you kind of took over on Prancy. Uh What led to that defensive switch? I don't really remember you having the responsibility on him uh, late in overtime. Um, Coach just wanted me to get into him and make it hard for him, just give him a different look because uh, the other guys that were guarding him was about his height, a little, a little taller. But um, just putting me on him, you know, put a little more length on him and just made, tried to make things a little harder for him. Things worked out pretty well during that. Uh, yeah, they did because um, if I remember right, I think he tried to shoot one and kind of change the shot. We got a steal off there, made two free throws. And then a couple other ones, you know, he, he forced a couple of little uh, shots. Your face guarding really trying to trying to even avoid him getting the ball at times, right? Yeah, because... Um, he, he's the key to the team, and, and the way that he played tonight, uh, he played very good. And so, you know, um, when you have a guy like that, the, the best thing you can do is just try to, you know, get him out of the game and get him out of the sink of things because uh, the way that he was attacking, making plays for his teammates, that's how they thrive off him, and that's how they, they win against the they do. But, you know, when you take him away, then, you know, they take a deep, they take a, a drop. Archie, before the end, it was layup after layup after layup for them. McCall had said yesterday, he told you guys, you know, if he beat you, beat him. You know, if they beat you off the dribble, beat them off the dribble. How much does it say about where you guys have come mentally that maybe you were struggling on the other end of the floor, but you kept coming back and attacking, and you, after a rough first half, came back the way um, It just shows us maturing. And it just shows, you know, that uh, we just finally, you know, decided, you know, hey, we got to have to do this no matter what, you know. Uh, and if you think about it, basketball is just a game. And when I think about, you know, it's a game that I love and I cherish to play, but at the same time, it's not a death crazy thing. Like, if you don't win, you're not going to die, you know. So when you think about it in those times, it's just go out there and just compete. And that's what we did. Did it feel sometimes like more than just a game when you were